Hello again friends, welcome to another daily... There's a lost. This won't be a long episode, so buckle in. Uh, Holy Mantle, and we have to beat Mega Stan. So that's not going to happen. So we'll just see how far we get, shall we? This is a bad start. Don't get hit here, or we are stuck forever. Now, having started with Holy Mandel, I am very reluctant to ever use the D4, so if we can replace that ASAP, I will be looking to do so. I'm being very careful against these spiders, I'm trying to keep my distance. Normally we would just charge into this room, beat everything up, charge out again. Not going to risk taking the damage. Alright. Uh, we are the Lost, of course, so we have the new buffed Lost uh, with the Spectral Tears. Spectral Tears are good. Um, they're something that I would normally actually have sort of kept hold of um, in the previous unbuffed Lost. Like if Weezy Board is in the, oh, that's a bit bad. in the first item room, I would probably keep it and consider this a valuable Lost run. Uh, obviously not the best item in the pool for a new Lost run, especially if you actually want to finish it. But the ability to camp out over rocks and just scum up the game in that way um, is very valuable. Of course, on the basement, everything can fly anyway. Ooh, careful. But these things can't shoot you, uh, except Monstro. So we're looking at the Monstro. The only thing that we can benefit from in terms of tinted rocks, uh, besides golden chests to some extent, is small rock, not small rock. Okay, I thought I could uh, point at the screen as I said small rock and it would guarantee that it appeared unto me, but no, 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 no. It's not how the world works. This thing would die. This is excellent. So I'm going to expect this is going to be a very wide range of um, of scores in this one as people die or don't die at various stages throughout this <laughs> ridiculously unlikely request that we manage to beat Mega Satan with the Lost since me you know <laughs> I, I get I understand quite obviously that now Mega Satan is on the postcard so we are at some point going to have to beat Mega Satan as the Lost but uh, it is not this day. I'm feeling good about myself right now. I've uh, just been playing some Fallout 4 for the series. Oh, we killed him. I think he killed himself on the fire. Um, I am expecting to... Oh, it's not too bad. The Emperor helps. I'm expecting to, at some point, do my usual trick of completely failing to pay any attention to what's going on in the room. And, of course, as we go through the game, more and more things start happening. It's very... Uh, very interesting. I think we'll open these. And then leave. And fight the boss. Monster. Okay. So I'm going to probably at some point lose concentration. There's going to be a momentary lapse of reason. And, well, with Holy Mantle, there needs to be two momentary lapses of reason. But I, I am not beyond that. By any means. But uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling in the zone. I'm feeling focused. I'm feeling ready. I'm going to give this my absolute bestest. And we've already done a little bit better than we did last time. We had to fight uh, monsters. Sweezy is a great is a great. And let's not fight uh, Krampus. We didn't fight Krampus, but this is no fucking oh shit shit shit. That's really really bad. Help! Help! David. We get points. We still get points for picking these up, so we definitely should do. They don't really help us. I don't think we got points for the Spirit Heart, however. We can actually just tank this room, so I'm going to. Yeah. That would have been um, particularly dangerous had we not had Holy Mantle on this last run. We'll open this. Mm, that's no use to us. The damage upgrade from uh, from from small curved horn down here is quite frankly outstanding. It's very good for us. We can tear through these enemies at least on this floor with a plum, not a not a fruit, but you know a, a, a small amount of pipe work. 
We should shoot these. I know it takes a bit longer with um, Spectral Tears. Note that Spectral Tears, in fact, doesn't come from an item. It's just part of the Lost. So I wonder whether we can actually still pick up things like Ouija Board and therefore waste space for item. Addicted. I don't know what this does. I'm going to assume it's not something I want it to do. We have enough coins nearly to make a shop worthwhile and we've definitely got a key to make the item room an option. We've got two bombs, we should definitely check this out. And if we can get some more up as well, that's going to be a real benefit to us. And we get a whole two points for picking up that, so I'm very glad that I spent the time to do so. Uh, it almost goes some way to making up for the... Uh, excuse me, where's my item room? Is this a new troll thing? Wherein we get uh, floors with no item rooms in them? Hello? I'm not going insane, am I? There's definitely no item room on this floor. Well, I hope Northern Line is saying the same damn thing. We might as well take this because nothing else is useful or affordable or either. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say we don't want sharp plug, even if we can uh, pick it up, which we can't. Uh, I don't want that, actually. What's all sent to you? Okay, we're doing quite well. The damage upgrade from Curved Horn is probably going to last us a decent amount of the way through this game. So all we need to do is avoid getting hit twice on any room. Like uh, this one. This is a good candidate for getting hit twice on. It's going to explode, I think, so be careful. I'd like it to explode uh, on its chums there, but, you know, can't necessarily win them all, as they say. Okay, you turned into two. I'm not a fan of that. Absolutely not a fan of that. You would avoid and desist this errant behaviour. I think we could all be better off. I've not been looking for item rooms from over It's full health. Amazing. Thank you, game. Uh, I'm not entirely sure it's worth my time. All the bombs, mostly. Um, I mean, what can we hope to get from a uh, secret room? Maybe some keys, some coins? Most of the items that you can get from the secret room are not worth anything to us. Uh, I suppose you can get the prestige of having found a secret room. Well, yeah, well done. Pat on the back. So, pats on the backs don't get us positions in the in the Isaac rankings here. I'm, I've got to say, the fact that I've only actually been hit intentionally so far is... It's giving me um, confidence, making me feel pretty decent about our prospects on this run. But being the Lost, there are so very many items that we can pick up that have absolutely no, well, that c can show up that have no use for us. Obviously, we're not going to be picking them up uh, because that would just cost us points and give us no benefit. So we very much need to be uh, uh, offensive run because we've started with the most defensively potent item for the Lost, which is Holy Mantle. Uh, we should check this. It's probably not worth much to us. Yeah, I know. But, you know, keep pressing on. The devil deals are worth our while, especially if they actually show up, because of course the previous one didn't have a deal in it, so we haven't been able to wrangle precedent for that. Uh, do we want to do this? I think we should do this later. I mean, maybe there's a secret room next to it? We should check that, actually. If there is, I know we can get in and out of the curse room for free, but what I'm worried about is whether we can not get hit on the inside. Wow, well, we should probably do it. Maybe if we get a teleport card, we'll be slightly better off in this regard. But I'd like to blow that up, and I'd like to blow this up near one, maybe, from down here. Can you take damage from this, please? Did you? I don't know. Uh, I'm not a fan of these things and their homing shots. I'm certainly not a fan of the fact there's two of the fuckers. Alright. One's down. One down, one to go. That was uh, very tuneful. Thank you for joining us. The left hand is not going to help us. Much as I'd like to think that it would. Yeah, we'll try for a teleport card. And if we don't get a teleport card, we can at least... Um, you know, risk that at the end of the level so that we get as many points as we can before our inevitable demise or demise. I don't. That's one of them words, isn't it? Uh, on, the, on the inside of that. Oh, good. What a fucking <laughs> challenging room that was for us. I'm so, I'm so pleased that the game is presenting us with these you know, really 
valuable ah, opportunities to um, show our skills. Oh, I've completely forgotten how to speak English because this rune is taking all my mental power. The Awar's rune will absolutely help us. Now, let me explain. Either the Awar's rune will get us to the next floor out of the curse room. I think I want this. Or the Awar's rune will get us a crawl space inside the curse room. In either case, if we get hit inside the curse room and we find that we can't leave, we can use the Awar's rune and either go to the next floor or you know, re-enter the curse room and Holy Mantle will be recharged. So we definitely want to go to the boss before we try and do this. Am I going to get any item rooms on this? Freaking... I'm just trying to die on this boss, which is Pestilence, so it shouldn't be too big a deal because when you can fly, Pestilence haven't got too many uh, attacks against you. Primary attack of Pestilence is not this uh, mortar effort, effort, it's the fact that the creep appears wherever he does that mortar. Be careful of that silkworm up there, that was very close, I thought that was actually going to hit us and I was expecting to lose Holy Mantle. But it didn't, and we didn't, and we're okay. Yeah, it's the creep. The creep is the normally worst thing here, because it's very easy to get trapped behind these rocks. That is fine. I think we can probably do something with this. Uh, it's not necessarily the best thing to take. No, it's not a secret room. This could be the secret room, though. It seems like a common place. I know I said I wasn't going to look for it, but if you know where it is, you might as well, right? If we can get another bomb, that may be worth blowing that chap up see if he's got any uh, coins for us with his sense in his eyes there. Well, it's good use of Cuban meat already paying for itself and we haven't got any bombs but there is a tinker drop. Again we don't have an item room. I'm not... <laughs> it's, it's a bit... Okay. We've had at least one item room. Right? I'm not going crazy. I don't think we have. Right, so this is the sort of room I was anticipating having to deal with. We've already dealt with it once and we succeeded and we had a lot less damage back then, but you know, we do make mistakes. We've got a bomb, which is what I was after. We might as well use the AWAS rune anyway, and it's a, not a cross I know there was a chest in a room next to me just now that I didn't open. I'm not sure how I missed it. So um, yeah, item rooms, please. I would appreciate if they could show up. Is it maybe part of today's challenge? Do we have random real challenge mechanics? Or maybe it's a new bug in Isaac. Speaking of bugs, my recent learning, oh god, about um, Azazel being nerfed, that should be being rolled back. It wasn't supposed to be quite such a massive nerf. So the damage Azazel has could be getting buffed quite considerably. This feels curated to me. So we're going to take the stopwatch. Now all enemies are going to be super duper slow, which is super duper cheating. But look at this guy. What's the matter with him? Poor bastard. Can't get anywhere. Uh, this is hugely, hugely going to improve our actual opportunities to win. Which is why we're here. We're not here to let the game beat us, we're here to shit on the game and beat it as much as is goddamn possible. Now I would mind a damage upgrade from these bosses. Um, we're not going to get anything from item rooms, apparently. I mean, talk about a challenge run. This is supposed to be the daily challenge, not a genuine challenge. Um, but not having any item rooms at all, which I'm assuming is the case. We should probably explore a bit more. Maybe we'll pick up a random item. Maybe we'll find a special room with something in it. I don't know. <laughs> the complete lack of items in this entire game so far has been very frustrating. Um... It's not like we can control our deal with the devil by taking red heart damage. You know, we can't say maybe we should have taken a different devil deal, lost it on the second floor and got it on the third floor and then we would have you know, Death's Touch instead of... Was my... Oh, he had the soul, did he? Uh, instead of fucking, you know, nothing. I keep waiting to want to use my spacebar item to do damage to these things, but it's just not going to happen. 
can see the effects of uh, the stopwatch here, just making everything extremely slow. I think it's a worthwhile pickup as a loss, but in, in normal situations it makes the game kind of dull. Uh, but we want to give ourselves the best opportunity to get as far as we possibly can through this run. I think I've already got a higher score on this run than I did on the Eden run that we had when um, when we had Antigraph, which was <laughs> a massive pain in the ass. Oh, dimes, nice, actually. That's a lot of points right there. Um, where I completely failed to beat uh, Gody Genius. Okay, we really want to be careful right now, because I did take enough damage. I did take some damage. I got hit, is what I'm saying. Uh, Holy Mantle. Was gone, but we managed to make it through the room without that actually causing us any long term issue. I'm, I'm trying to use my orbital, and I know it's a terrible idea, but our tears, while potent, are not going to carry us very far. I think it's worthwhile doing this exploring, even so. Simply because. Did we find our secret room? We didn't. It could well be here. It's not. Um, secret rooms. No. Exploring. You get points for going to the places, you get points for beating the enemies. You know, it's very much worthwhile doing so. Uh, careful, trying to get hit by the fires, because we're stuck inside, so if we do, that's very worthwhile. Wheel of Fortune, I think we'll just blow it up right here. What can we get? Nothing. I suppose we could have played it to try to get... Crystal Ball? You know, get some mapping, but if we're going to explore every room anyway for the points, what, what value has it to us? We got several points for just pressing that button, so those rooms are actually quite powerful in terms of points for the lost, because obviously the lost doesn't have to worry about pesky things like stepping on the spikes. In fact, even with Holy Mantle, we wouldn't have to worry about pesky things like stepping on the spikes, so all these rooms would be very quick uh, and a good few points. We'll go in here. Just these guys. Easy enough when they're this slow, but pain in the ass when they're not. And you can not. Thank you. Um... Yeah, I've, I'm surprised to learn that daily challenges can be of this type, oh fuck, where you don't get item rooms. I expect that from actual challenges, where the actual challenge contains that mechanic. Oh fuck. Okay, I don't like that at all. <laughs> we might not make it through this fight for the simple reason that I'm not sure I can actually avoid that with any great... Um, Prowess. Shit. Okay, we made it. Whew. Well, I'm not going to pick that up because it literally does nothing for us except for cost us points, so we'll avoid it. I haven't had a second deal with the devil either. Uh, we're on Necropolis 1, so that's how far we've come without being uh, endealed. And there's a strong chance that if we do get a deal, it'll be an angel deal. Well, I say strong chance. There's enough of a chance that I'm not happy with it that the next deal will be an angel room. And an angel room can contain so many things that are of literally no use to us, you know? We do have the key piece as well, now I can think about it, so I wouldn't be surprised if that already counts as um, angel priest. Oh, this is nice. Start cracking open golden chests, no, we don't have enough keys already. Man. Because we haven't been using them to go into item rooms. We've just not been using them at all. Yeah. Fairly interesting. Music when it's this actually yeah, I quite like. Can you thank you? Trouble with a stopwatch. I suppose this may be a balancing mechanic now I think about it. You can't tell what the champions are. Because everything's the same colour. It's all tinted the same way. Not tintin, tinted. Apparently Tintin was a Nazi. Well uh Herge was anyway, the chap who wrote it. Bit uh, disappointing, isn't it? To learn that something from your childhood like that has such, you know, violently strong right wing tendencies. These things, seriously, if they weren't slow, I would be dead twice over. Again, not small rock. Item in here, maybe? Mm, this could be worth doing. Especially when we're slow. Uh, when everything else is slow, I should say. So I don't know if these things slow down, actually, come to think of it. Four of these? Just three. 
How did you not die from that much? <laughs> the music's really trying to be dramatic, but it's not very... Ooh, <laughs> don't know how I managed that, but... Uh, more better and judgment, let's say. This should be nice and easy. These buggers are a bugger when they can go full speed. But when they can't, we just walk up behind them and shoot them in the back. We'll take that, because I think we get points. We're on 10,000 points, and we're on Necropolis 1, so... I uh, don't mean to be cocky or anything, but I think we've already beaten our Eden run. We've got hit fewer times, although we've got normal tears, and we can fly, and we have Holy Mantle, although Holy Mantle is probably actually the only thing that's keeping us alive. Um, well, we'll risk this, I suppose. Yeah? Flies? Cool. Um, the Eden run, the anti-grav tears was just a pain. They're cool. I would take them. I would probably take anti-grav if it showed up. But to be sort of foisted with it, like we were in that, it's just uncool. You know? I'm not down with it. I keep getting batteries as if I'm going to re-roll this ever. That would be a terrible, terrible idea. This may be worth doing. I'm not sure if we can do it with Holy Mantle. Actually, I'm not going to risk it because we will die. This it may be worth it because we have Spectral Tears. Spectral Tears, of course, allows us to shoot more than one poop at once. And as a result, mow through these and hopefully get some cash out of it. Although, I suspect I've already spent more time shooting these sons of a bitches than I've actually got cash having done so. There's another coin. Yeah, this might not be worth it. I'm going to not. We'll say we broke even. I wasn't paying attention. Let's not and say we did. Alright, come on then. One more? A couple more. Yeah. <laughs> These things. Let's do that. Card? Hero fund. Uh, not the most useful card in the world. I'm glad that thing stays down as long as it does. We really need to get a lot of damage in on that thing before it does that attack again. What's this? Don't know. Are you a wizard? Yes. Full health. Full health. We can just do this sort of thing for now. To lie your wizard wears off at the very least. I would like to, uh. Yeah. Not be risking as much as I am here. Oh dear. I'm not risking too much because, of course, nothing can actually reach us. But I'm not gonna try and do as much damage as I could with Are Your Wizard, even though. You know, half our tears are it. I'm gonna let half our tears be out of action, rather than try and <laughs> rather than dodge around and faff about. Uh, I don't know what chaos does, but the secret rooms might be worth it. I know I spent a lot of money just now. Ah, oh, I see. Let's see what's here, shall we? Second secret room. Can it contain an item? Don't know. Find out. It might yet be able to contain an item. Uh, we need to get rid of these orange fires so that we can manoeuvre the stone chests to the TNT barrels without being shot. There we go. Let's say, so that's the chaos space, is it? If you say so. <laughs> it's not what I would uh, expect. Ooh. Don't know what it is. Let's find out. There's a uh, orange fire that we want to avoid. And... A troll bomb. And a key. Key's kind of nice. I'm not worried about the rest. Yep. That's why we have Holy Mantle. That's why Holy Mantle makes Lost Runs. Because you just do daft things like that. You won't remember. I'm not thinking about what's in the next room. I've done it, you know? It's not going to knock me to six. The other secret room is over there. I'm not going to worry about that, frankly. It's, it's more than I can be bothered putting any mental effort into. Small fly behind that. There we go. Everything being nice and slow is super nice and helpful. Hopefully this boss will give us some... some... not survivability, but, you know... power. Potent. War? Mm, maybe it will give us a small amount? Fuck. Uh, whenever I lose Holy Mantle, I'm like, well, that's it, we're fucked. <laughs> Game over. 
I could probably try and get rid of some of these TNT barrels so that I've got room to avoid the bombs. There's war at. There he is. He should be nice and easy when uh, he's running around because he'll just be walking, basically. But when he's doing these troll bomb shenanigans, I'm not down with it. I'm really not down with it at all. Here we go. Yeah, nice and slow. Follow me. Catch me if you can, etc, etc. Run, fat boy, run. Uh, other cultural references about doing things. Yeah, angel room. I took it because it will cause the one we have to fire. And look at this shit. Like, three points for each of these. And that's it. One point for that. Or such. I'm not even going to fight that statue. Fuck it. There's just no items in this run, and I expect everybody to have the same experience because they can't change their deal with the devils. Deals with the devil. They can't change their, you know, which runes they see after the boss fights because, as the lost, you can't get hit in order to squander them. There's no way of changing it. Uh, zero bombs, 14 keys. What am I using keys for? Basically nothing. Sometimes I go in the shop, waste points on shitty items I don't really need. Yeah, there's probably a lot of people out there who didn't go for either the map or chaos. I went for chaos, I don't know what it fucking does. Uh, and as for the map, well, if you haven't got any bombs, what's the point in knowing where the secret rooms are, eh? Nice try, spiders. We have got an AWAS room, and this is a boss trap room, so I'm not actually going to do it. Ah. Maybe I should have done that inside the boss trap room. Stephen is over here. Stephen's showing up a lot. It used to be one of the rarest items in the game, but I think the the pools in which Steven can show up has been altered. It used to be it could I think I think it literally could only drop from Steven himself. Whereas now it's at least in the in that item pool as we've seen. Uh, I'd like to leave. I don't know what's happening. Okay, you're the I, I paused this room as the type where these skulls bounce diagonally and you have to shoot something else. But it wasn't that type at all. I will probably just use my orbital a lot here because I'm a fool. But it, it does get the job done a bit more quickly. Everything being slow means I can very much keep out the way of these sons of the bitches. There we go. Let's shoot you. Good. Uh, more damage, please. And more bosses in general so that I can actually get the game done with. Um, speed is obviously part of the essence. We are on 25 minutes. Ah, you're a soul chap. Soul reaver. Excellent. Another, another one of those. So, okay. We have still not got any bombs. We'll do these small rooms. There is no bomb here. There is a temperance card. But I have no bomb. We've already talked about this, I think. Uh, we might as well go in here. It cost us anything. We might as well take this because we'll actually help. Jar of Flies. If we haven't seen it before, I think we have. Uh, I've been playing a lot of greed mode, so obviously I've seen a lot of items without you lot. Just fight one. Okay. Uh, it creates a fly in the jar every time you kill an enemy. And then after up to 20, and then you use the jar to release the flies. Which is very powerful, slightly more powerful, I believe, than Guppy's head. Which obviously just creates three flies per room, but then normally you've used them on that room. So now we have the opportunity to create 20 flies. Super good. Come on, we've got to beat Mom before we lose Holy Mantle. Done. We are going to the dark room, apparently. Well, it's not like permanent Polaroid invincibility was going to help us, and we didn't get a deal with the devil, and we were too slow for bus rush, but we did do a lot of exploration, which probably gave us a small head start in terms of consumables and therefore points. I hope. Um, I think I've done everything right so far. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up the cubes of meat, but having this extra shot every so often is certainly not hurting us. This may be a... Oh, I was going to say this may be a flies room, but these things are going so slowly. Uh, pretty much fuck them. Look at them. Impotent little wriggling bastards. We'll just try and collect as many flies in our jar as we can. <laughs> See, our damage is not really scaling to this point. Um, we could get Steven, obviously. But I don't think Steven's gonna 
really save the day here. It's not going to be the hero that Gotham wants or the hero that Gotham needs. Or well, across the wound. Here. Nobody asked for this hero, is what I'm saying. Oh, the damage upgrade is nice, but it's better than Lil Steve, and I can't deny that. I didn't want any form of, you know, uh, homing shots. Especially if we're not going to the chest, because the chest is where you uh, you get your final amazing item. So if this uh, deal with the devil right here could see its way clear to being a brimstone, that would be tremendous. We'll just sit on Loki here with our bajillion flies. 20 flies, anyway. It did do a decent amount of damage, probably about half of that one's health, at least. With this uh, golden bomb, I'm aware that there's a tinted rock that we should probably spend the time to go and look at, because if it does have small rock in it, that's going to be a massive benefit to us. We need to do everything we can to increase our damage, and small rock is one of those things. If we can open every tinted rock we can find... What is this? I'm going to take it because I don't know what it does, probably range. Oh god. <laughs> I think this poops every time you get hit. Something like that, I don't know. So the tinted rock is down here, be careful of the red poops. So there. It's a chest, it's got a key and a... Mm, necessarily worth it, but it wasn't unworth it. We should go to the secret rooms as well, actually. That's probably a good idea. Again, could be stuff in it. Most of the secret room items are not very good, but these keys are good. That guy's got sense in his... Maybe that's just the new shopkeeper. Nope, five cents is all right with me, but I'm not going to risk the super secret room because those things tend to contain things like pills, shitload of red hearts. What do I want those for? It's only going to slow us down to get them, and it's only going to turn out to be, you know, range down, tears down, that sort of thing. We can't guarantee them, so I'm not going to sweat them. All right, this should be nice and easy. Oh, we just randomly dropped bombs. Okay. Fart bombs, but bombs nevertheless. Uh, there are enemies in the secret room. That's new to me. Is that a real bomb? Yes. We'll open this. Worthwhile, maybe? Kill. 40 RNG. Absolutely no use. For once we have a space for item we want to use, and it's not a charge item. So, whatever. We have to be really careful with this number two then, because if it's going to set off a bomb every so often, we're going to be... Well, we're going to shit ourselves. There we go. Another one now. It's nice of it to be at least a turd bomb. Stop it! Jinkies! Maybe it's every number of shots or something? I, I feel like it's got to be dealt with... Dinty Rock? No. I feel like it's got to be... Not just the amount of time. It's got to be a number of shots that we fire or something got to be tied to something that we're doing, rather than just randomly, every so often, poop. Tinted rock here? No? Yes. Small rock. Three points. Whatever. Loki, weren't you just here? So every so often we need to step back <laughs> and let the sh shots hit the poop. Let the tears hit the poop. Another tinted drop, that's nice. No, still not small rock. I don't like these things, but we dealt with it in a timely fashion. Also, that's not great. Well, 20,000 points, we're definitely doing better than we did on the Eden run. Yeah, it's gotta be tears. Every so many shots, 20 or 30 shots maybe? Not even that many, I expect. I'm going this way just because it seems right. I have no... I mean, the secret room's over there. I don't really want to do that. Um, oh dear. But, I mean, that's often an indication for where the boss is, but it's not guaranteed. What are we going to do with this temperance card? We should use these flies, but I'm kind of saving them for the boss fight, because we do need to beat Mom's heart. I'll use them now. Okay. We still get flies in the thing for anything that we kill ourselves with our tears. So we can avoid actually killing them with the flies. We're getting back for too long. Which we've not managed to do apparently so far. Thanks to our flies being so ridiculously potent. 
I'm double checking all the time for troll bombs coming out of these as well, but that was very much worth it. That's another one of those troll pennies that you just keep trying to pick up. Do you get any points for it? Do you lose points? No. It's just checking. I have seen them before, but I thought it might be a just a bug because <laughs> I was expecting bugs. Um, can I actually? Yeah, I can make more flies. I'm a bit concerned that I've used so many flies just now that I can't actually make any more. Be nice and easy too, as long as we pay attention to the poops. If I'd known what number two did, probably would have left it behind. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you about that. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna give you any. I'm trying to think of a euphemism for lying, but I've just run out of words. I'm not gonna lie to you about that. Is what I'm saying. Double pin fight when uh, this oh shit help. <laughs> this slow, we could just leave. Let's do that. I suspect it's down this way because the secret room's down this way. I have been wrong before. In fact, I'm often wrong. Ow. Something exploded just now and I was not a fan of it. You stop it! So number two shits bombs every so often. I found pills. And I liked it. Hope my boyfriend don't mind it. I think I say that every time. I should probably not. At least they're helping me find secret rooms without spending our own bombs. Okay. Maybe we don't want to be here so much. I think there's only one of these normally in there. That's absolutely no use to us. As was that. Fine. Let's try not to die on this fight. We'll use those. Good. Now we need to stand here so that we can actually step back when that happens. We'll use these. Like the fact that they're um, butt bombs, I, I neglected to mention, is valuable because they confuse the enemies, all the enemies on the room. The fact that they're bombs, you know, just serves as damage, but the farty exploding nature of them does a significant amount of damage to everything on the room. It's extremely valuable. Unfortunately, they couldn't go off in our face, and we'd like to avoid that if possible. Okay, so I still have to kill this, apparently. I wasn't really anticipating that, but as you will. We have not made it in time for Hush, which is new. I can go in here. We can get nine points. And my heart is going like the fucking clappers. <laughs> this is probably one of the best last runs I've ever done. I, I, I have to be honest. All because we started with Holy Mantle. It's not like we became particularly strong. The world. That doesn't help us. I might as well just blow this up to hell with it. I took my flies out. Because I'm expecting to attack enough enemies that uh, we will get them back. Simply, uh, phone, please stop buzzing on video. Thank you. I'm honestly not going to sweat the fact that that happened. But if you've heard it, I'm aware. Thank you. Nice. Confusing all the enemies like that. Apart from the fact that I think it deals damage to everything. Apart from that, they're confused. They're not going to shoot me or anything. It's brilliant. They're not going to attack me. They're not going to come towards me. Having this many butt bombs, even if they don't actually, you know, hit anything with the, literally the explodey part, still no small rock. I'm wondering how many... Um, I'm wondering how many tinted rocks we've missed simply as a result of not having that many bombs with which to you know, crack them open. I think these things stop chasing you after a certain oh shit. For a certain amount. Of no! Ah! Oh, I've got to be honest, I'm really bad at those fights. That's basically the Krampus fight, right? I'm still not down with the positioning on that, but I think I did extremely well. So thank you very much for watching. We got 272nd, a bug they fixed. Happy to see that. Uh, in the fucking world. <laughs> I don't believe this at all. Let's have a look. Wow. Okay, that back and forth is the days. Uh, and this is, what's this talking about? Okay. And then global. Holy crap, that's got to be fake. I'm going to guess number 9 is the first real score down there. Maybe number 8? There's me in my friends list. And by time, 266. That's not bad. You know, for saying how many 
people there are. Can you just end? No. I'd like to know how many people played. Anyway, I'll stop going on about that. Thank you very much for watching. I'm super stoked to have played so well. Oh my. And uh, do come back tomorrow, provided I do one. Whew. Hopefully it'll go that well.